One day, he asked to his mother a very innocent question. Mom, a very new thing happened to me in yesterday's party. There were free pastries available and my friend and myself had a bet on who can eat more pastries. I thought that I will certainly win this bet because, as you know, I have a sweet tooth for pastries. However, things went in a different way. I was excited before I started. Enjoyed the initial few, but over a period of time, my excitement went down. And after some time, I started hating the pastries. Does your economics have an answer for this behavior of mine? Well, certainly yes. And it's very simple and intuitive to understand. Let's recapitulate the experience you got there. Let's first look at the first pastry you consumed. You loved the pastry because you derived satisfaction out of it. A feeling of overall sense of well-being. Just like pastries, you might derive certain satisfaction out of eating, say, cookies or a burger. And depending on your constitution, you may derive different amount of satisfaction out of these different things. Let's define a concept of utility that measures the amount of satisfaction you get by eating these things. Knowing you, I am sure you derive maximum satisfaction out of pastry as compared to burger or a cookie. Let's say you derive 10 units of satisfaction from eating pastry, 5 units of satisfaction by eating cookies and 8 units of satisfaction by eating a burger when you are hungry. So, if you eat all of these, your total utility by eating all of these would be 10 plus 5 plus 8, which is equal to 23. There is another concept called marginal utility, which comes into effect when you eat more of the same, which was the case in your binge at the party. Marginal utility signifies the additional utilities or units of satisfaction you derive when you eat additional unit of the same product. Let's replay how it went with you in the party with the introduction of the utility and marginal utility concepts. You loved pastry number one because you were hungry and the pastry really hit the spot. You were hungry and had an appetite for sweets. Hence, it was very fulfilling. It added 10 satisfaction units to your overall sense of well-being. So, the total utility you consumed was 10 and the marginal utility was also 10 because it was your first piece. Pastry number 2 was good but not as good as pastry number 1 because your hunger and need for sweets was already partly fulfilled. So second pastry added a little less, that is, say, 8 units to your overall sense of well-being. So, the total utility increased to 18, 10 plus 8. But the marginal utility, the incremental utility derived by eating the additional piece of the same, decreased from 10 to 8. Pastry number 3, still good, but you started to fill up. So it adds only 5 units to the sense of well-being. So total utility now is 23, 18 plus 5. But the marginal utility decreased to 5 from 8. Pastry number 4. Your stomach was now full and this pastry added much less to your overall sense of well-being. So it adds only 2 to your overall satisfaction level. Total utility 25. Marginal utility, 2. Till this stage, there is an increment in the overall satisfaction level with every addition eat as the total utility is increasing. However, please notice that the marginal utility decreased over time. 
Pastry number 5 did not make you any happier. So there is no incremental increase in satisfaction level. Total utility remained the same as 25. Marginal utility therefore, however, decreased to zero. Pastry number 6. You feel reluctant to eat more because you are fed up of it and you hate it by now. By eating it, you are actually decreasing your sense of happiness. Here, the marginal utility is negative, say minus 3, due to which total utility now decreased to 22 now. Yes, you had reached a stage where incremental eating led to a decrease in your overall happiness. Let's summarize it in the table below. As can be seen, when the same product and service is consumed again and again, Total utility increases initially. The incremental increase in the utility, that is marginal utility, generally decreases over time. Beyond a point, the marginal utility becomes negative. This is when the total utility starts decreasing. To summarize, if you give identical units of same good continuously to someone, each unit will add less and less to the amount of happiness and overall sense of well-being. And the happiness would start reducing after the threshold is reached. This behavior is known as the law of diminishing marginal utility. Hmm, got it. So, after pastry 5, any additional pastry reduces my overall utility level. Going back to my experience, Actually, I was feeling nauseated after pastry 5, even while I went to the 6th and the 7th pastry. Interesting. Yes, so the consumption should have stopped after pastry 5 because you were in fact losing your happiness after pastry 5. In fact, you would have felt good by stopping even at pastry 3 or 4 and shifted to something else which had a higher utility than pastry. As a rule, consumption needs to stop where marginal utility is equal to zero. So we have learnt, if only identical successive quantity of a good is consumed, the law of diminishing marginal utility will hold, which will result in falling utility from every additional unit consumed. Of course, a model such as this, with one product and no price and income constraints, is not entirely realistic. However, this is the first step towards understanding the critical concepts ahead.